put some small ones. We're trying to bring this one down right down to the bottom of this one that, that we're already laid. Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're starting a brand new series. We're way out here in the countryside to do some Indiana limestone and some brick. We're gonna brick this house up. Stone at the end, the stone on the front, precast around the windows and the doors. I wanna take you over here and show you what we have here to do today. So this is the, the Indiana limestone. <laughs> the first I ever seen of my entire year doing this is the first I ever seen they, they they send them out in such a long length. I don't know how they expect man poor supposed to lay these things. They they think that we are mashing or something. Why would someone send a stone so long? How are you gonna lay stone like this? You know what I mean? This this is crazy, but we're gonna figure a way out. We're gonna figure a way how. Um, maybe we're gonna have to cut it up or something. Look even look at this one here. How are we gonna lay them? If you're watching this video, <laughs> the supplier, you know, at this job site, I want you to tell me how you expect us to lay these stone here. Such a heavy stone. Come on, man. Whenever you guys are selling these things, consider the bricklayers, the trademan, the mason who's gonna install them. Because how you expect us to lay these stone? You know what I mean? I don't know. I have some guys who barely even can lift the, the, the regular stone, <laughs> much less these big heavy stuff here. You know what I mean? But let me take you around and show you the house that, um, show you around the house and stuff. This is the stone. So this is the front section here. Around the windows, we're gonna have precast around the windows, around the doors. At the corner, we're gonna have some precast kyle at the corner, go all the way up. Up here, because we don't have any um, angle iron, we're planning to go with veneer stone right around the entire front section here. Here gonna be Indiana limestone. This post, this post here we're gonna go with uh, precast. We just keep going around. It's gonna be stone here. This corner, we're gonna wrap around this corner. Come right up to this window here. We're gonna where we're gonna stop the stone, go straight up, and then we're gonna continue the stone from the top of this window, come right along the entire thing. This all gonna be bricks above, up there gonna be bricks. The stone gonna be right there, finish right there, and then the bricks gonna continue on up here. Come right around here, gonna be bricks. Over here, gonna be bricks as well. The stone gonna come around three feet six inches from my my ledge there, come right up to here, and then we're gonna have silk running right around, right along the entire thing here. Let me take you around this side. This section over here gonna be uh, stone three feet six inches up, then three casts. Around here, the stone gonna come around three feet six inches here, and then we're gonna continue on with bricks. Freaky out gonna be around the, the door, the garage door. And here we're gonna put a skirt in with the stone right there as well. And then for the entire section here, it's gonna be bricks. Just right underneath where those windows are over there, that's where the stone gonna finish. Let me take you out the back and show you the garage. We have the garage as well to do around here. So this is the garage. The entire front of the garage is gonna be stone around here. Around here gonna be stone as well. And around this side gonna be brick. Around here gonna be brick. Look at this guys, I want to show you my work. Look how fast this well runs. Look at that. Look how fast that runs guys. Holy cow. So that's basically 
what we have. I want to take you over here and show you the bricks that we're going to use on this house. This is the brick that we're using. This is just a regular size. It's 10 inches by 3 inches. This is the guy that we're going to use for this job here. Let me see if I can find the name for it for you. Bid Shop White. Here's the name of the brick. In one skid we have 190, 198 pieces and this is the max brick. Okay guys, I show you the brick, I show you the stone, I show you the house. No further ado, let's dive right into the video. But before we jump into the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more corn video like this one. Let's get started. Hold this, uh, hold this right on the line. No, 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 no. That's it. You go down there, Ali. My hold it on the, no, straight down. Hold it on the foundation ledge. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut this in for now. Later on, you can, uh, you can take down yeah, the okay. okay. So guys, we have to cut this off because it's, it's way out, way more than the other ones over there. So we're gonna cut this off now. And then we put on our weekend plastic. Guys, okay, for now we're just gonna lick it off, bang it off like this. Roofing plastic is what we use to help to prevent the water from going on the inside. Just in case you can walk, get on the inside later on. We tape our seam, very important. Tape it up properly. Prevent any form of water. Sneak on and eat there. Okay guys, this is this is how we want it to look. You see I tape up my scene. And we keep it. This is how we're gonna do it. Go all the way around the entire house. Make sure wherever there's any hold. Make sure we tape that in properly. Let's keep going. Okay guys, so let the fun begin. Okay, so now we're gonna install our first brick yeah. Okay, so we install our first precast. As you see here, I cut it open and I put a brick tie. I hunk our brick tie right in here. I use my nail just to hold it in place. And then we put our nail. This is how you're gonna secure them as we go.
Okay guys, so I just see we just put some brick ties there. Nice and secure it. Make sure we're nice and level. She's nice and level. guys and then we're gonna catch our level Okay guys, let's put some brick ties now. Very important to use a lot of brick ties. Brick ties is what we use to hold, hold the wall in place. get in there guys we get in there slowly slowly but early let's put some small ones we're trying to bring this one down right down to the bottom of this one that, that we already laid go level Make sure she's nice and level Oh, 
the same sound like for you? I feel bigger. Oh, this is a two time bigger than you. <laughs> too old to be using that big, big towel there, man. One size of my foot. Start this one. You don't cut the weed yet? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a small level behind it. You are you? 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 You are we have a jipper exposed so if any water get in there later on we'll run right in the jipper line that we have here and it will go through Look for me there Just using our level like this for now, and then later on, once we come, once we all, all of them, we're gonna go and run our line right through. Just to make sure everything is nice and straight. Yes, ladies. You can have a little box here, and I got that. You fuck. You have to tell me I couldn't walk. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Too much. Come here, Christopher. Come on, Lisa. Bring it out on the end like this. Bring it out on the end. Right out the extreme end. Bro. This thing here. Yeah, we're not right now. Okay, guys, so this is where we are now. Let's see here. We still have one more out here to install. I'm going to install this one and then we're going to redo, restring our line again. One more. 